Hello, this is your boy Nathan here and you're watching Robo Masters. So today in this video I got the Roblox S6 versus the Benito A3, a hundred dollar robot versus a six hundred dollar robot. So you ask me what in the world am I testing a six hundred dollar robot vacuum over a hundred dollar robot vacuum? Is this test even fair? Well, yes, the Roblox S6 does have higher suction and it also has a better cleaning algorithm because it has a LiDAR sensor. But the video A3 uses gyros and accelerometers to do a very similar cleaning pattern. But watch this test because the Roblox S6 kind of got its mapping obscured and it did a really odd cleaning pattern. And I'll show you how to undo this mapping problem at the very end of the video. So enjoy this test versus the video A3 and the Roblox S6. Okay, let's go ahead and get this started. We're going to go ahead and zero out both the glasses and put one ounce of material in the glasses and then we will test the weight of the dust bins. These little plastic beads make great art projects. You can put them on little pegboards and then once you create a cool design or pattern, you can melt it and it creates a permanent shape. I was surprised that the Venigo A3's dust bin is heavier than the Roblox since the Venigo A3 is technically a smaller robot. All right, we got the Venigo A3. I got my little helper here. She was so eager to push the button. Couldn't wait for me to finish my opening speech, but let's go ahead and get started here. All right, she's the expert here and she's gonna get the Venigo A3 started. Okay, okay, let's see. What can I say about the Venigo A3, huh? Well, first off, I really like the design. Look at that cool color scheme. It has like a blue, yellow, red on top, and it has a cool little green LED lights. It does have dual side brushes, but you can see in the video that they're spinning super quick and scattering around all the little plastic beads. This little guy has all the cool features you could expect from a higher priced robot vacuum, such as self recharging. It also has a mopping a pad attachment that holds 350 milliliters of water. Some other features that this little guy has is 1400 pascal of suction. It also says that it has a brushless DC motor, which is hard to believe. I may open up this guy and see exactly what type of vacuum motor this guy uses. And it also has all the normal suite of sensors to prevent it from falling down the stairs, to bump into walls, you know, all the regular sensors, minus the LiDAR sensor or camera sensor found on higher priced robot vacuums. Okay, looks like the Benigo's A3 is done. I'm gonna bust out my regular vacuum and kind of vacuum up the testing area and we're going to try out the Roborock S6. Starting to It was going very well until I realized that I put some physical barriers down to help block out the Venigo A3 since that robot doesn't have any way to keep it in a single room. So having these physical barriers kind of obscured the mapping on my robot. It thought it was in my master bathroom slash master bedroom and it actually created a larger area you can see right now. Okay, so take a look at the gray area there. That's what the robot thought is the expansion to my area, even though this does not represent the actual floor plan. Here at Robot Masters, I do like to showcase all of the flaws of these robot vacuums if I can. So if I do film and something happens, I try not to edit it out. I do want to show that these robot vacuums are great for the most part, but sometimes they do have their flaws. And I would say for the Roblox S6, due to placement of the LiDAR sensor, if you do drastically move physical furniture or objects in an area, it will obscure your mapping. But watch towards the end of the video, I'll show you how easy it is to go back to your old map and forget that this ever happened. Okay, so it looks like the S6 created a whole new area. Hmm, maybe I can go check and see if it created a new bathroom slash laundry area. Some of you may think, oh, this isn't really a fair test. Well, yes, I do agree that the S6 was at a disadvantage due to its obscured navigation routine, but keep in mind that the S6 is superior in the Venigo in a lot of ways. It has the better navigation, has the better higher airflow, and also has a better side brush. 
So I don't think that having a kind of obscure navigation algorithm will really affect how well this S6 can pick up the plastic beads. So it looks like the S6 is done and it's trying to get back to his charger. Okay, so we're going to start with the Vinyl A3's dust bed and we're going to see how much it picked up. And if you like this type of video, please smash the like button. Helps me gauge if this video is popular or not. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name's Nathan. I do a lot of crazy robot vacuum reviews, overviews, unboxings. I also showcase if the robot does fail on camera like it did on this video. Uh, keep in mind, it wasn't the Roblox at 6 fault. It was my fault for not thinking about moving the physical objects. And here you go, guys. I'll show you how quick and easy it is to update its map to the original mapping. So you notice that I have that new created floor plan. All you have to do is do edit, go to restore map, and it will default to the last two cleaning ones you have done. So next time I do this test and I'm basically moving out barriers that could obscure the mapping, I would just go into this area and select reset map. What this does is it clears out the map memory on the robot vacuum and I can have a clean slate. So regardless of how much I change out the room, it will not change the actual map saved on my smartphone. And then when I'm done, I can always go back to the restore map and use the map pre previously. Hope that makes sense. It's kind of weird. I don't like how Roblox S6 only allows you to, to save two floor plans and have the most recent one, but it's what it is. Hopefully in the future, Roblox can add up to like 10 map memory. All right, have a great day.